Today, guys, we're going to play the Stanley Parable. Begin. I have uh, some jaw problems, so if it like cuts out every now and then, it's because you're gonna hear my jaw popping a lot. Or me breathing because I'm tired. I just walked up a flight of stairs to get to this room. <sighs> not popping as much as before. That's good. My headphones broke, so <laughs> I'm sitting here with one headphone on and the other dangling behind my head. Because one side broke. At least it wasn't the side with the mic. I mean, you know, it still works. I don't even know how the hell I'd fix this. It's so broken. But yeah, it's so fun. Loaded almost 100%. Alright, so in the future, I'm going to be doing uh, Clash of Clans, more of that. This is the story of a man named Stanley. That's all we need to know. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. alright, let's go. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Hmm. Oh, I just have a computer there. It's fun. Yeah, I'm going to do everything he says. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right, so let's see. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Um, Coming to a staircase, Stanley hell? walked upstairs to his boss's office. Um, no. Not going that way. I know where I'm going, the guy. Maybe an office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret PIN number. Two, eight, two, four, eight, five. four, five. Stanley was in such a rush wow. to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. Okay. <laughs> that kind of anxiety isn't healthy. So he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly nice. walked forward into the opened passageway. Yeah, cool. There's no passageway. There it is. Okay, so. The open facade thing. Stop here and come back once it's loaded because it takes a really long time. This sounds a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, 
as though he felt more free to think for himself, sure. to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. What the... Um... Ooh, I didn't notice it. It's just got there. Oh, it's secret. And there's nothing to this elevator. Okay, I'm back. And the elevator is not Italian. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I should go through. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Yes, I would. No, I don't think, I, I don't think so, because it said escape. It read Cancer, Cancer. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. I did. I do have every opportunity, and I'm not taking it. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Yep, I want to die. Oh, there's a lady trying to go back in there. <laughs> no, I'm not going back. The bar is too much of a blue line for me. Um, I like can't believe this made using the source of. I really didn't know that until I looked at the menu. It was like. Gary's mod a lot. Use source. Um, don't load. Don't load. Uh, loading, 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 loading. This episode's gonna be really long. This episode is going to be really long. Hear that? I don't hear like something crazy. It's just like mm. what the? As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from his life. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led what helplessly the? into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated the as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Okay. Okay, so And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? What is when here? every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Okay. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Death is kind of a paradox. I'm more confused than ever. I'm gonna die. Alright, I'm gonna take a bet. Okay. Here's the deal. Take a bet. Here's 
part of the ending. Warzone. In order to develop it, you, des you design an ending where Stanley end up on a battlefield fighting aliens. The action gang becomes sentiments and would wage war against the narrator. We realize shortly after we're starting to build it that it was far too good to be an on the nose and point of the game. Plus, some people interpreted it as making fun of people who like troopers who reside on Gotham. I don't think that it's making fun of them. It's just insane. I like it. Look at that. Stanley's base is awesome. Look at that. This is insane. I, I love that. Alright, um, first, I think I'm just about ready to leave, so I'm going to head up to the leaving area. So let's go to the leaving area here. Oh, look at these two. How they oh. wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, I cannot. No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Nope, of course. <laughs> but listen to me. You can still save those two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. Um, as long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Do choose it. Don't let time... Uh, gonna quit. Okay. Whew. That was tricky. All right. Uh, thank you, Bruce, for watching. Uh, no, thank you, Steve Meyer. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave a thumbs up, rating, like, subscribe, comment, um, favorite. Now bad boy, are you ready for the base? My DJ, yo, get on the case. Bruce in, Bruce out, get down. Who's in the mind where the wicked is found?